officer rank, first lieutenant, and I'm a company fire support officer supporting the county team 36. So I'm the fire support team lead, and I'm here to coordinate between the ground personnel and the aircraft involved in the training. The number one is site selection, so that's finding something that's both safe for the aircraft and ground personnel and is defensible from the air and the ground. And then from there, we actually have my joint terminal air controller talk to the aircraft and provide them with an LZ brief to bring them into the ground. And then from there, we marshal on our troops and equipment onto the aircraft and the aircraft takes off. Today we're working with CH-53 Super Stallions and snowmobiles and all ground personnel equipment that we need to thrive in an Arctic environment. Operating in an Arctic environment is mostly about details. You have to take into account a lot of minute details that can topple an entire operation. You have to be aware of your tactics, techniques and procedures to ensure your own survival and your proficiency at operating in an Arctic climate. Training with the Norwegians has been uh, really great. They provide us a lot of insight into operating in an Arctic environment and they've demonstrated a great deal of professionalism working with us and we have a lot of shared values and strengths out here in this environment.